So Castleford Tigers 10, Toronto Wolfpack 16. Um, Brian McDermott's Canadian side upsetting the odds really today um, down at the jungle. It was a good hit out I think for both clubs. Um, it was the first time Castleford have really put their, um, their strongest team out I guess. Um, and obviously Toronto's first uh, first piece of action this year. And uh, they look good, did the Wolfpack actually. Um, I know a lot of people tipping them to go down this season. Um, particularly as you know, thinking about how thin their squad is and um, the fact they've, you know, they've only recruited three players or so. Uh, there was no Sonny Bill today, um, he was left out. Um, but they did look impressive. Uh, they've got a good spine of McCrone, Mella and O'Brien. That looks decent. And I thought Blake Wallace changed the game as well when he came on. Um, some really, really positive signs for them. They look really well drilled um, and are solid enough in defence, I think. Uh, Brian McDermott did say in the press conference afterwards that he would like to make some more additions to his squad, um, but at the same time stressed uh, in, in quite length as well um, how difficult it is for them to recruit players because effectively they've got to pay slightly, slightly over the usual uh, usual budget because players are effectively running two homes. You've obviously got a home in either Australia or the UK and one in Canada as well. Um, so we did stress that um, during the press conference. Uh, Daryl Powell as well, as much as he was disappointed with the result, I think um, he was fairly, um, you know, fairly pleased with the performance and sees a lot of positives going into uh, the start of Super League in two weeks' time, where of course they will face Toronto again. Um, I thought Sasai Fecky and Daryl Olfert's on the wings looked really good for them, really strong coming out of their own 10-20. Uh, um, and Danny Richardson and Jake Truman in that in their halves, um, they've been a big talking point in the pre-season uh, about how those two are going to gel and. Um, I think the, they looked all right. Truman, in particular, was running the show and taking the ball to the line, but I think there's certainly some um, some room for improvement with those two. Um, I think a shout-out as well needs to go to Tyler Heppe, uh, who I mentioned to Powell in the press conference that um, Tyler Heppe is, is one of the more under-the-radar signings that they've made, but um, he's played all three pre-season games and has looked decent. And he, um, he was the same again today. He ran hard, tackled hard, and um, provided a really good offload uh, that led to Fecky's try in the second half. So, um, Daryl Powell said that he has certainly pushed himself into contention for that Toronto game, which of course does um, bring us on to the start of Super League in two weeks, the double header at Headingley. Um, I think both coaches are really looking forward to that, and um, I'm sure all the fans are as well. So, as a first hit out, I think both teams and both coaches will be pleased with it, um, and we'll take a lot into that first game of Super League in two weeks' time.